Hey, here I am after my cough attack. I have a cough drop in my mouth now, so please forgive. Um, Princess scene part two. After you cut out your bus dart, get rid of it, cut open where you're going to have your new bus dart, which is up into the shoulder. Well, mine's up into the shoulder. You can put it in the arm if you want to, but mine's up into the shoulder. I don't have problems with the arms not adding darts in them. So then, you take your paper. Now, this paper is Glenda's paper here. And her paper, you can't even really call it paper. It's really nice. It's thick and it's durable and you can see through it really good and erase it. But I go through miles of it. And so I just use this doctor table paper <clears throat> because I actually happened to find a whole case of it in my mother-in-law's attic when I was cleaning up her house a couple summers ago. So anyway, you take your paper, you lay it on top of the old blouse style that does not have princess seams, and you simply draw the two sides. This is what I came up with when I drew the center front side and this is what I came up with when I drew the side <clears throat> that has the old removed bus dart on it okay so you simply draw the side draw the shoulder draw the hem draw down the new bus dart line down the waist dart out the waist dart and down and then you add this 5 8 inch hem over here okay so here you can see this is the center front you can see here's the underarm and when I put it together when I sew that together it's going to look like this right here with this seam right here and this is the center front part this is the underarm part with the armhole see armhole part see up into the shoulder center front part I probably should put it on this side so you can see it better <clears throat> center front part where the buttons and the buttonholes will go this is where it meets at the shoulder sews down all that seam business in the front and then the armhole goes under there okay see there it's really extremely simple you just draw down that middle line, add the seam, and it's like you just had a puzzle with one piece, and now you turn it into a puzzle with two pieces, and then you put it back together, okay? So, fell on the floor, I'll just leave it there. Then, for some mysterious reason, <clears throat> I seem to have lost the back I used. <laughs> I don't know where it went. But you do the same thing. Here's the center back that you place on the fold. Here's the middle of the shoulder. Here is the waist dart that you can tell it's the diamond shape. Here's the other half. Meets up here at the shoulder. Sew that long line together and that's your back princess seam. Here's your armhole. Here's your center back. <clears throat> okay? Two pieces. Was one piece. Now it's two pieces. It is so simple. <clears throat> okay. Now, you can tell I've got this glass on, and it has no sleeves. So I'm trying to decide. I've decided on the buttons. Thank you all for your help on the buttons. I'm definitely going to use that colored button. <clears throat> but this book of Glenda's has two sleeves. It has um, what's called a, well, I don't know what she calls it, a bell sleeve, I think is what she calls it. She calls it a bolero. I don't know what the sleeve is, but anyway, it kind of, you cut it out and then you overlap it in the front. I don't know if I want that kind of sleeve, or she also has another sleeve in here that I really like that's called an inset go day sleeve, and she shows you exactly how to do it, how to cut it apart, how to put the go day, and it's kind of, the sleeve will have a seam from shoulder down to the bottom of the sleeve. And you can like open it up and peek inside. And I don't know, I thought I should put something cute inside. I have this black fabric 
Hold on, I'm going to wheelie really fast over here. And wheelie really, really fast back. See, I have this black fabric right here. And I thought since it's black with white polka dots, it might look cute if you peek through. And you see this. But then I thought, if you peek through the blouse, let me see, how can I make it peekaboo so it looks more peekaboo-ish? Let me see, let's play like that goes there. <clears throat> and let's play like this goes here. There you go. Peekaboo duty. See, how cute is that? Look at that. Total cuteness of all time. Huh? But... If I do make this sleeve, I'm thinking maybe I should cover the buttons in this black with the white polka dots, huh? I think I'll try that out and see how I like it. Pretty fun. So that's what I'm going to do right now is figure out which sleeve, because I want to do something different. I have a thousand blouses, and Jerry says they all look alike. So pardon the cough drop, pardon the coughing. If you want more detail, get Glenda's wonderful, wonderful book. She has them on pants. She has them on shirts. She has them on blouses. And I'll be back to blog about this later on. Bye!